Hello, I'm referee Bob. Hi, I'm referee Sid. Follow us into the deep. Sid, what can you tell us about the ascent task, which you can do any time during the teleop period? Yes, absolutely. Um, the ascent task is basically climbing up on the submersible zone, level one, level two, and level three. However, you cannot get to level three before you get to level one. And this can be done again, like Bob said, can be done any part of the teleop period. There's actually no task that only can occur during end game. However, there are some protections related to the ascent task during the last 30 seconds that teams need to pay attention to, to avoid penalties, to avoid penalties. To avoid penalties. There are no penalties. There are only fouls. So a couple key things are to remember is that you cannot be inside the submersible zone when you start uh, ascending and also you need to be fully supported by the low rung before you can reach up and touch the high rung or you'll incur some penalties. There are only fouls. Bob, do you think there's anything interesting or anything different this year with respect to transition from te auto to teleop? Actually, there is, Sid. This year, Rule Geo 405 states that your robot must remain motionless between the end of auto and the transition to the teleop period. So that means teams are going to have to design some strategies into their mechanism that may be as simple as not pushing the init button until after the teleop period starts, or you may have to implement some maybe more elegant software solutions to prevent your motors and servos, et cetera, from moving the robot between that period, because it is a major penalty. Falls. You do not want to incur that. Sid, what can you tell us about this year's possession rule outlined in G410? Robots are allowed to have just one and only one sample or one specimen. So there are two different kinds of samples. That's one is aligned specific, and then the yellow ones are neutral samples. So some of the key things remember, as in last year, that momentary possession of more than one sample uh, may not be judged to be a violation, but if you do control more than that, again, it's control. As in the past, if you're hurting these or things like that, but if you're plowing, that's okay. So teams are gonna have to think about designing their mechanism so they're only picking up one specimen or one sample at a time to do that. And also, I re highly recommend they practice driving to make sure that they're only getting one sample at a time, particularly if they're going to herd samples around the field. Bob, do you, can you think about any other rule that will impact robot designs, specifically with respect to size and things like that, as it applies to gameplay? Yes. As in years past, you're going to be able to start in the 18-inch cube and, again, expand out. However, your horizontal expansion limits are going to be limited to a rectangle, 42 inches by 20 inches, and it's going to be relative to the robot chassis. Therefore, as you're designing arms and lifting devices, et cetera, you're going to have to take that in consideration and make sure you're staying within that box. You may have to put some mechanical stops into some of those or maybe some software limits to limit the expansion. Please read Rule 401 in the competition manual as it outlines some very excellent examples of what is legal and what is not. Okay, other than read the manual. Read the manual. Read the manual, please. Do you have any other closing thoughts, Bob? Uh, there's a few rules that I think you should look at in some detail. We're not going to go into them today because of time, but rules regarding the robot-to-robot -robot interaction are important. They're a little bit different this year. The rule about pinning has a few key changes, and make sure that you can understand it and ask questions if you can. How would they ask questions, Sid? The questions are, there's nothing changed about the form. Form is still going to be open for uh, teams to ask questions. It's the same thing. However, there are going to be subtle changes as to how the forum rules apply this season. Please read the manual again and the best of luck to all the teams this season. Best of luck to all the uh, teams this season and follow us into the deep.